everything scary, I'm GM Haunt, and today I'm going to be unboxing, doing a demo of, and reviewing the brand new Spirit Halloween 2021, Uncle Charlie Doll. gentlemen after shipment delays of the uncle charlie doll supposed to be shipping out on september 15th to very excited waiting from me to seeing him pop up in stores about uh, two days ago maybe yesterday very very recently i have finally gotten my uncle charlie doll who is brand new for spirit halloween 2021 in the mail as you can see from the package i have right next to me I'm super, super excited for Uncle Charlie Doll. Uh, one of my most anticipated items of the season because I love the way he looks. Um, I love the, the Flashback Friday version of Uncle Charlie. And I was super, super excited when I saw they were making a doll of him. So I knew I had to order him. Now, before I uh, unbox him, I just want to say there is also a Crouchy Doll coming out for this year that I uh, most likely will also be purchasing. Although you can't get him online and you can't find him in stores yet because his shipments have not yet arrived. Um, so he's basically literally impossible to get right now. He's also not available in flagship So I have not been able to get him yet, but hopefully I will be able to when he eventually does release But for today's video, we're talking about the Uncle Charlie doll. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing I Got my my knife right here here he is. Oh! And there's something interesting. Okay. I have not, as you saw, I had not opened this before. Um, I just cut this. But there's something interesting that I don't think was in other boxes. Okay, first thing, he is a ton bigger than I thought he was. Here he is. Oh! Uncle Charlie doll has arrived. And he is so much bigger than I thought he was. Okay, that's really cool, actually. Here he is. First, my first impression, I love him already. Oh my god, I love, I love him. But, before I actually show you his demos and such, I just wanted to point this out. I don't know if this is in other boxes. There's a 20% off coupon in his box. I didn't know that they were doing that. I guess they're mailing out coupons in the boxes, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess if you order something, expect that everything else, they do ship him with some, uh, packaging material, which is great to see. They packaged him very, very well. As long, There's also my, uh, pricing in there with my address and everything. But, oh, here he is. I'm so excited to talk about this guy and see him. Like I said, I have not seen him. He was at Flagship Store on opening day, but I didn't get a chance to actually see him because they all sold. So this is my first time ever getting to see him in person. Um, I guess before I go into my initial full review of this guy and tell you everything I think about him, let's take a look at his demos. Don't worry. Won't scare me, too. <laughs> Come here. Take a little bite. You know what you want to. Want a little candy? Come on. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Alright, so before I go into my full review of this guy, I just want to take a look at the box. As you can see on the back, you have a little drawn diagram of him and where his battery pack is, how you can change the batteries and all that. It says Uncle Charlie doll. Um, he doesn't have a description that only the animatronics do. And then his price is $26.99, uh, $27 United States dollars, which I think is an awesome price for him, but I'll go into that again. Um, in a second, at the front of the box, obviously, he's attached with some kind of twisty tie, not zip ties, as you can see, uh, some kind of twisty tie things, which you could actually tie back again, um, if you wanted to take him back in the box, which is, I think, what I'm, I'm which I'm gonna do. Um, obviously, then taking a look at the front again, he's got a little try me button on here, a little sticker that you can peel off, that, uh, where you press his stomach to get him to activate. There's a thing on the box that says, try me, press my belly. 
It says Uncle Charlie doll behind his head. It says sound activated and creepy effect. And then obviously, since he's a 2021 doll, he has the gray packaging, um, right as you can see right there, which I think is awesome because they changed the boxes for 2021. But I guess let's get into the review of the Uncle Charlie doll. So my first impressions are he's way bigger than I thought he was. Take When I saw the box, I thought the box was bigger than he actually is, but it's not. He's actually very, very big. Or I'm not, not super big, but bigger than I thought he was. Take Look, my hand is about the size of his whole chest, which is pretty cool. His arms are very, his hands are tiny, just as all the animatronic dolls are. Um, the detailing on the face is super awesome. Very, very similar to the Uncle Charlie flashback animatronic. Of course, that's not latex. This is like a hard, not plastic. I'm not even sure really what kind of material this is, but not so, uh, latex like the Uncle Charlie animatronic is. There's a lot of detailing on the face. Um, as you can see there, there's a lot of detailing. He's got the blood on his lips, just like the animatronic has. His hat is the same material that is on the animatronic. You can kind of uh, bend it and pose it how you'd like. He's got the red band that goes around just like the animatronic. And of course, his hair doesn't look that good right now because I just took him out of the box. But again, that is kind of posable. You can mess around with that to get it to look exactly how you would like it to look. The arms kind of move around freely. As you can see, you can kind of pose them to lay down and when you take him out of the box you can actually sit him down which is pretty cool because his legs are moving around his feet are a very cheap material i'll say that they're kind of like a pillowy squishy material same with his legs and then his body is not because his actual speaker is in there as for his uh phrases they sound pretty good obviously he has the exact same phrases and voice as the uh life-size uncle charlie hugs is a little bit higher pitched but this guy has exactly the same the speaker is not horrible um, obviously, it's not as good as the animatronic because the animatronic has a way better speaker because it is a life-size prop. This guy, though, he has a pretty good speaker as well. It's not uh, super staticky or super cheap. You can still hear what he's saying, which I definitely like. Um, I mean, like I said, he has a really, really nice size to him. The buttons, his outfit is exactly the same as it is on the life-size. He's got the little red buttons, which actually are a little bit different material on this than they are on the life-size prop. They are plastic. On this, they are sort of like... um. A, a more flimsy cheaper material than the ones that are on there but of course that's because it's going to be more expensive on the animatronic the flower is not as good quality but again that's because this is way cheaper and the materials can be more high quality on the actual animatronic um so yeah the the actual like a little flower is just basically a little bit of thin paper um as you can see he does have an undershirt underneath his actual shirt, just like the animatronic has. Although you can't take it off, obviously, since it's a doll. But it is there. He's got the little um, kind of bow tie uh, with the, the little uh, yellow dots and red pattern on it. That, again, the life size has. Overall, I mean, this guy is awesome. Um, way bigger than I thought he was. That than I thought he was um, when I saw him in other videos and other unboxings. Which I'm really, uh, honestly, it's a good thing. I always like seeing that it's bigger. Um, a bigger doll than I thought because it definitely adds some size to him. I love the quality of him. I think the head is not going to break. That was one of the things I was thinking about. Uh, would it be able to crack if it fell on the floor? Honestly, I don't think it would. It's a really nice hard material. It looks like you can take him out of the box and then be able to put him back in with those twisty ties that you can see on the back of the box there. Which I think is awesome because that's always a good thing. Um, I might not even take him out of the box to be honest. I might keep him in it. Um, Really, really awesome. And then again, he retails for $26.99, States dollars which honestly I think is a great price for him. Um, he's really, He has a decent size for him. Obviously, this is an awesome collector's item. Um, regular people might not have as much interest in him as a collector would because it is a doll that you would have to know what it is to really appreciate him to the fullest. But I think for collectors, this is an awesome item. A collector like myself, I really, really like this guy and I think this is an awesome item for someone who owns the uh, Uncle Charlie animatronic, which I do. He isn't out right now because I replaced him with the 2021 uh, Wacky Mole Clown. But I do own him, and I think they go along really, really cool with each other. The little baby version versus the, the life-size version. But overall, I'm such a huge fan of this guy. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting the, the Crouchy doll when he releases at some point in the future. But this guy is awesome. I definitely like him even more than I thought he would when I saw him on the website. And I think he's even cooler than I thought he was when I saw him in other videos. His speaker is really cool. He has some awesome detail. And I think the price very much suits him well. And he definitely has some awesome size to him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up my unboxing, demo, and review of the Spirit Halloween 2021 Uncle Charlie doll. 
Again, overall, I definitely recommend this guy. He has some really cool sides to him. The detailing is really cool. His hat is the same material as it is on that light size, and I think this is an awesome collector's item for any Spirit of Halloween fan, and more importantly, anyone who owns the Uncle Charlie life size uh, flashback 2020 animatronic. Ladies and gentlemen, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more Spirit Halloween 2021 videos. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.